Union Environment Minister Madhav Dave assures that he will do whatever he can to save Loktak Lake. Chief Minister Okrami Bovi Singh hopes to pass a bill to protect indigenous people before election code of conduct comes into effect. MLA Joy Kishan accuses Speaker Logeshar of partiality in dealing with disqualification cases of MLAs. And women block Impal Dimapur Road at Senapati Bazaar after the arrest of three NSA and IM cutters by Assam Rifles. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Lighting Mamonika bringing you the top stories. Describing the Loktak Lake as a unique one, Union Minister of State for Environment and Forest, Anil Madhav Dave, underlined the role of NGOs and the stakeholders, including the people dwelling around the lake, for its preservation and protection. The Loktak Lake is the largest freshwater lake in the entire Notice India. Speaking to media during his maiden visit to the lake, the Union Minister called upon all the stakeholders to take proactive role to preserve the lake. He said the government alone cannot only protect and preserve the beautiful freshwater lake and stressed the need for collective role and support in preservation and protection of the lake. Later, the Union Minister also visited the only floating national park in the world, Kaibul Lamjaun National Park, which is situated in the Loktak Lake. Anil Madhav Dave urged all the concerned to preserve and protect the surroundings of the park. I think this is the only one type of a lake like a Dead Sea, only sea in the world. Similarly, this lake is the only sea, only lake in the world. But it needs a larger attention. And uh, dwellers and forest, particularly the forest dwellers and the stakeholders, how best we can do for them. Complete holistic approach not in part, but as a whole, all the streams leading to these lakes, they need corrections, they need the necessary uh, uh, actions, and apart from that, the wildlife, the deer, the biodiversity available, and at the end, the great amount of tourists should come so that local people, dwellers, they can have a better employment and a better life. Chief Minister Ukrami Bobi Singh today stated that the government hopes to pass a new draft bill before election code of conduct comes into effect. Speaking at the 7th political conference of Congress party at Naurenkongli Lekai, organized by Lamsang Block Congress Committee, the Chief Minister said the role of the President in turning a bill into act is just to sign the document, but it is the BJP government at the centre who is opposing the bill. He appealed to JCILPS and other stakeholders to give their opinions on the new draft bill at the earliest. Ibobi also said the historical peace accord signed between the NSC and IM and Government of India is like a time bomb and the centre has not intimated anything about the contents of the agreement. He also asked the BJP to make the contents of the agreement public before the Assembly election. The Chief Minister asked why the details of the framework agreement has not been made public. Manipur ki apun bas saptam kairoi do ba. Adu ko mbau varagadi why not? Koi lajba mayam puna mbau dhon ya yuna ya koi chul support tau ye koi support tau ye kari gino ba lo lag thami si kari gino ba. Kariyam bhai agenda lajba no ba mashe. Mohi na thona lajagadi anya shen I am the honorable prime minister Narendra Modi ga historical peace accord ana inari mashe. Sini hai na handa ki election mamangs deita. Mohi na ya na puksyan shen na tau ba. Wergadi madu uta utok piyoba. Ene sen ayam ga permanent solution purapna na bagi ekor tu dia koi jual kam tawi. Adu bo Manipur ki lam si inci emat thugai na na bagi. Jadi BJP ko men si ga ene sen ayam ga tawram bat targeti emat tik na te Manipur thugai ko ngamoi hai bersih masih ni angkanya BJP lah. Ayat hamdan ini bersih. 
The Tribunal of Manipur Legislative Assembly Speaker T.H. Lokeshwar dismissed a petition filed by MSCP Vice President Adim Panmai to disqualify the five Manipur State Congress Party MSCP MLAs who joined the Indian National Congress and the 10th schedule. The Tribunal clarified that the MSCP MLAs meet the rules and regulations in the fourth para of the 10th schedule to join the INC. It said the petition filed in April 2014 is without merit. It may be mentioned that the five MSCP MLAs, R.K. Mo, Pongnam Brozen Singh, Karam Thamarjit Singh, Panmai and Nemcha Kipgain joined the INA, while the petitioner, who was the vice president of MSCP, Adim Panmai, joined BJP in February 2015. Thamaiban MLA K. H. Joy Kishan has accused Speaker T. H. Lokeshwar of partiality in dealing with disqualification cases of the MLAs. Addressing media persons at BJP head office at Nichai Pachotek today, the MLA Joy Kishan alleged that the Speaker has deferred the verdict on the disqualification cases of five MLAs of Manipur State Congress Party MSCP against their joining Congress Party. He maintained that this had made the 10th schedule ineffective. Joy Kishan said the BJP Manipur will take out a protest rally against the Speaker's Act on October 1 and submit a memorandum to the Governor of Manipur. He appealed to the people across party lines to participate in the rally. BJP Manipur disqualify. Taroi Haragasu, Emele, do pending the lay head in a magi, is at Mangdal, the Gusu, Machi Tabum Tokte Lodre, Iller Domatic Mangal, Tokna Legation, Tabum Togana, I in Kairo Bani, Aduna Nakoshi, disqualify Tar in a Lotopio. Chai Lishang Shina, Chai Ani, Muknamzelaga, Tambai, the Se, Masimati, Yamna, Kahen, but Hodong and Lose. Convener of BJP Manipur Pradesh State Election Management Committee, Thaunao Zamchawa, alleged the speakers differs the qualification cases against MLAs who the speaker wanted to protect. He said Wangwe MLA Oinam Lukhoi, who joined the BJP, had to leave the party after the speaker took up the disqualification case against him. Chawa accused the Congress party of accepting Oinam Lukhoi when he should have been unattached. He also mentioned that opposition MLAs Dr. Ai Bohalbi and K. Sarat joined the Congress as individuals. Their party did not merge with Congress. The BJP leader said they deserve to be disqualified. Reacting to Congress MLA K. Ranjit's statement on the framework agreement between the NSC and IM and the Centre, Chawa said Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh alone must be knowing the details and the Congress MLAs must ask about it to the Chief Minister. Speaker belong to Congress party. Hoi, speaker wherever the party yao wo yaadi anna. Lai niye khoi ki de dum party su yao wo. Speaker na, maag na hoji Congress se yao rehe ka na hai re ba. Trinamu niyam wo hai re. Asai ki shom da ki BGP de ki tantho khar ba. Trinamu ki case ni mo hum disqualify ta uke pura case jo loi khar ba na ba. Mala madhu na, hai re ba luk hoi ki case se hai. Masi Speaker a cigarette quarter, Tungi Mironi and Pada. I talk number six tigger of a port of my way. MPCC Vice President and Nambol MLA and Loken has categorically stated that BJP cannot challenge the Congress even if BJP tries very hard in the forthcoming 11th State Assembly election. The MLA was speaking at the launch of Sahayok, the campaign for differently abled students in Manipur, known as Congress Bhavan. The campaign was origin organized by NSUI to drive funds for the welfare of disabled students. NSUI volunteers will collect 5 rupees each from school and college students. Downplaying the hype about rising wave of BJP in the state, MLA Lokin said there is no BJP wave in Manipur as such. He said those who are in BJP fall are very well known by the people. BJP-led NDA government at the center does not care anything for Manipur. He said withholding and rejection of the ILPS bill by the centre is a glaring example. Lokin further said it is quite natural for the Congress to have some loopholes as it is the ruling party for quite a long time. BJP will not gain anything by blaming the Congress instead of speaking about the state issue. He maintains that central BJP leaders have not even announced a package for the state even though they are visiting the state regularly. 
Manipura BJP Kanbanati. Sida the BJP the Kanba Mali Basi Media the Kanbani. Manipura Diplomat Porbagi Mahuta Miwa Tarani Pani Mapunzi Katkiba Assembly Building May Tumna Sakiba Emile May Sakiba Quarter Kayatumba Nashibu the Jun Night in Singiba BJP na Manipura Shepka Sakat Pagi Bota Sigumba Toki Bani Quite a case over Isuji Manipugi territorial integrity Nak Pai Bani. Equi with the Narendra Modi in a heck paibaga. Miki state killer was minister, council of minister, the Yauriba, home minister Rajnatmo, Kangandana, Sumna the Kipunghaya Makata, Naira Bakanda, Inesen, I am Yanaki, Honapapada, Naga Peace Accord, Adumba two thousand fifteen gay, Agaski Tata, Nasida Accord in Erega, Lady Bani. Traffic on National Highway No. 2 in Faldi Mapur Road was completely halted as women in large number blocked the road at Senapati Bazaar. Also, the shops and business establishments remained closed. Sources said normal activity came to a grinding halt and the road was blocked in protest against the arrest of the three cadres of NSA and IM of Town Command, Senapati District. 35 AR company posted at Senapati and the Maram Battalion arrested the three cadres from Satyam Industries near Henbung yesterday around 8 p.m. They are identified as self-style Lieutenant Asang Kasung, aged 40, from Kachai in Ukrul district, self-style Corporal LVO Kayina, aged 26, from Makairul, and self-style Captain PK Anasi of Kawibi Mao. Assam Rifles also seized one 9mm pistol and RDX from them. They were immediately handed over to the Imphal police station instead of Senapati police. Soon after the arrest of the three Kadus, women in large numbers came out and got out the Senapati police station, demanding their immediate release. Today, also a large number of women came out and demanded immediate release of the three Kadus. They also made DC and SP Senapati over the matter. Lelong police have discovered a hand grenade planted at the gate of one Kaidem Ajit Kumar Maite, 38 years, son of K.H. Ibochoba of Lelong Nungai Mayai Lekai today. The grenades planted by unidentified persons were found lying at the gate around 6.30 a.m. in the morning. Lelong police along with the bomb disposal squad came to the spot and safely exploded it at the foothills of Lelong Marinkong. Irabot Day Celebration Committee Manipur University today launched T-shirt and cape at, with a picture of Jananita Hizam Irabot. The International Conference on North East India Myanmar Ethnic and Cultural Linkages, which began yesterday at MU Court Hall, concluded with the launch of T-shirt and cape at MU Acting by MU Acting VC Professor M. Danishwar. The T-shirt and cape were launched in view of the Irabo Day celebration to be held tomorrow at MU Library at the Leaders' 120th birth anniversary. Second observance of Lamyan Bahiza Mirabot and Bharat Ratna Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar Memorial was organized by Dalit Sahitya Academy Manipur at Manipur Press Club today. Floral tributes were offered to the portrait of Lamyan Bahiza Mirabot and Bharat Ratna Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar. Soibam Hemanta, the first fellow of Manipur State Kala Academy in the field of Maite Isai, was also felicitated at the event. A book named Kausin Kaurang, written by Secretary of Manipur State Kala Academy, Yumna Mahendra Kumar, was also released. Lok Sabha MP Dr. Thokchom Mainya, Milal President M. Naukomba Maite, and Japanese Hospital Manipur President T. M. Rajen Ayangba were among those who attended the event. The woman in the photo uploaded in social networking sites featuring with the beauty chief minister Gai Kangam clarified that the photo which claims that the two are married is baseless. The woman has been identified as Swarni Kaisam of Kwai Kaitil Thaunauzam Lekai. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club today, she said she has been victimized by wrongly portraying the picture. She said she is an active member of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee and a photo was taken while attending a chakoba at Wangoi with members of MPCC along with Gai Kangam. She also said an FIR has been lodged at Lumphel Police against Anand Sharma of BJP who uploaded the picture in the wrong light.
President of All Manipur Working Journalists Union, Amju Wang Kimcha Siamjai, today said the media will try their best to help the disabled persons get their rights. Speaking at the second Foundation Day celebration of Disabled Welfare Organization in Far West at Norim Thong Laisham Kulain, Laikai Community Hall, Siamjai said persons with disabilities face various problems as the state does not have a full fledged commission for them, even though it has a state commissioner. He said Amju will urge Social Welfare Minister A.K. Mirab in this matter. The celebration was highlighted by a variety of programs presented by disabled persons. State Commissioner, Persons with Disabilities, Dr. R.K. Kumarjit and Program Manager, World Vision India Imphal West, Dr. Salemi K. Tarao, were among others present at the event. A meeting of Bharatiya Janata Party BJP Booth Level Committee of Wankhem Assembly Constituency was held yesterday at the residence of BJP Minority Morcha State Executive Member Mohammad Abdul Sukur at Yairipo Kekru. Mohammad Abdul Sukur is an aspiring candidate in the 32 Wankhem in the 11th Assembly election. Mohammad Abdul Sukur said to join politics to realize the dream of his father of social equality. Staff and students of Institute of Cooperative Management ICM today organized a social service camp at the institute. Drains in and around the institute, park, classrooms and library were cleaned during the camp. For the last several years, the institute has been organizing social service during the month of September. ICM Director Dr. N. Ranjana said such social service not only keeps the institute neat and clean but prevents the spread of various diseases on the campus. Let's take a short break. We will be back with more news updates. Radiant Tutorial Yumnam Lekai Imphal, run by well experienced CBSC school teachers. Admission open for class 9 and 10 CBSC Submittive Assessment 2. Class starts on 6 October 2016. Class timing 4.40 pm to 7.40 pm. Subjects offered English, Mathematics, Science, and Social Science. Features regular unit tests, study materials, MCQ, and study tour. When service is also available. The first urban cross hatchback, Datsun Ready Go, with 800cc. Sumnatagi Lak Anigalasing Ni Punipan Piba Car Asigi, feature Singdi, ground clearance 185mm, boot space 222 liters, power steering, mileage 25.17 km per liter, immobilizer, book to Bihoro, Gariasi, Nasing Asimak, Shodum the Lak to the Lady. Test drive kita mak Lengsin Bira O Island Nissan near Standard Robert High Secondary School, Kanchipur, Infal. That's in ready go. Welcome back. You're watching Prime Time English News. Mizoram government will continue to hold peace talks with the Manipur-based terror outfit Mar People's Convention Democratic HPC Day. Mizoram Home Department Additional Secretary yesterday informed media that the second round of talks is scheduled for October 5. The first round of talks between the government and the HPCD was held on August 10. The negotiations between the state government and the HPCD reached a standoff in 2013 on the issue of extension of the period of suspension of operations. After the talks broke out previously over suspension of operations against the terror group, a host of leaders of the outfit were arrested. The Manipur-based militant outfit of the Mar tribals have been triggering violent activities in Mizoram since 1994, demanding a separate autonomous district council under the sixth schedule of the constitution by carving out areas adjoining southern Manipur, northern Mizoram and southern Assam. Mizoram is the first and only state in India which received 182.45 crore rupees from the central government in 2000 and 2001 as peace bonus for keeping peace after decades of insurgency. District Magistrate Imphalis has imposed Section 144 of CRPC 1973 in the whole area under Imphalis jurisdiction and Ziri Bam 
subdivision for a period of two months with effect from 6 a.m. of October 1. It prohibits assembly of five persons or more, which is likely to turn unlawful in the area, and also prohibits carrying of sticks, stones, firearms, and weapons of any other descriptions or objects which can be used as off offensive weapons. Notice Forum for International Solidarity condemns the compulsory co imposition of Hindi on DU students who come from different parts of the country as another disgraceful attempt to discriminate against them. In a press release, Nefis said the university has been trying to make Hindi mandatory in DU syllabus. JC against the involuntary disappearance of Hizam Irabanta Singh today held a meeting at Andro Khanjebung. The meeting resolved to urge the government to find out the whereabouts of Irabanta who have been abducted by NSCNIM on October 10. It may be recalled that Hizam Irabanta of Andro Leitan Pokpam went missing in October 2015 after he went to Ukrul to buy Omorok. Family of Lysram Ronel has rejected allegations by Dr. Suresh, former director of health services. Dr. Suresh yesterday accused that Lysram Ronel, along with his friends, created sin at the office of women's voluntary organization harassing his daughter, Thiam Gaitri, on September 24. Addressing media persons at Kaisantong Hodam Lairak Community Hall, Lysram Ronel's aunt said, Lysram Ronel and Thiam Gaitri have been living separately for some time. She said on September 24, a friend of Lysham Ronel informed him that Gayatri was seen with a man at a fashion parade in Uripok. He then left to meet Gayatri. Hodam Lairak Yumjao Lairimbi Nupi Kanglup member PH Baleshwari said women's voluntary organization secretary Sharmila and aunt some men came in abbreviated condition in a bolero at Dr. Sukumar's place. After confrontation, the local people damaged the bolero, P.H. Baleshwari said. The vehicle was damaged by the mob and not by the family of Dr. Sukumar. A free eye screening and subsidized surgery camp was held today at Youth Bright Star Club, Dera Sapam Lairak, Ning Thongbam Lairak. The camp was jointly organized by Bright Star Club, Caesar Eye Care Foundation and Lions Club of Laimarol. The camp was conducted to diagnose and treat cataract, pressure on the eyes, eye problems and other eye-related diseases. Around 180 locals attended the camp. The camp has been provided facilities for cataract surgery at 1000 rupees with two-day stay at Caesar hospitals and transportation facilities. Consultant doctor of Caesar Eye Care Foundation, Dr. Sarda Chongtham, appealed to the people to take advantage of the camp. Lelong Political Unit 5 link in a press release said it appreciates the statement of progressive Manipur that like-minded communities in Manipur should come together and stand against the culture of bonds and blockades and look for alternative forms of protest. Manipuri Matam Isegi Numit Observation Committee today celebrated Matam Isegi Numit on the theme Kaungam Drava Sai Sak Sai Hek at Lamyan Basang Lane in Palace Compound. Dances, songs and Nopfadi were the highlights of the celebration. Non-professional singers sang popular songs of lead and veteran singers and lyricists of Matam Isai. Various musical bands accompanied the performances. Well-known singers, lyricists and lovers of Matam Gi Isai attended the celebration. lines once again. Union Environment Minister Madhav Dave assures that he will do whatever he can to save Loktag Lake. MLA Joy Kishan accuses Speaker Lokeshwar of partiality in dealing with disqualification cases of MLAs.
and Mizoram government to continue peace talk with Manipur-based Afid Mars People Convention Democratic.